and the chaos. The Choctaw community gathered to pray for those impacted by the traumatic shooting. Lives taken and lives forever changed. That's right. News 4's Amaya Ward also spoke, though, to a mom of one of the football players on the field that night. Amaya. Dylan, Adria, they're all still emotional about what they witnessed. More than 100 people showed up at Choctaw Road Baptist Church to comfort one another, still shaken by what happened. I don't want that panic again. That's something that is, you can't describe. What should have been a celebrated moment for Sarah Coquit turned into fear. She was at Friday night's game, her son's first football game of his sophomore year, when cheers turned to screams. We hear six shots, like just pop, 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 pop. Chaos took over and panic set in. Sarah says she immediately began searching for her three children. I saw the fear in those football players in that locker room trying to find kids and parents and organize my son, betting that... <laughs> No shoulder pads on his brother to protect him. That gets me every single time. Like Sarah and her family, others who witnessed the shooting are left piecing together what happened. Three people were shot, killing a 16-year-old Midwest City High School student and wounding two others. The community bonding together during tragedy. They met at Choctaw Road Baptist Church Sunday. We wanted to create an atmosphere of unity in the community. Um, bring some hope and peace to uh, our students' minds. Church leaders say it was important to give students an opportunity to talk about the nightmare they lived through just days ago. It's difficult for some of them to uh, really explain what, what's going on in their minds. A memory forever scarring Sarah and her family. I never want my kids to feel that way, um, that unsafe of just going to their brother, big brother's football game. Police are still looking for the suspect. At last check, one man remains in the hospital while another victim is at home recovering.